Greetings and salutations and thank you for clicking on this video. Today we are going to look at updating your Linux Mint installation from 18 or 18.1 to 18.2. One of the really nice things about the Linux Mint distribution is the fact that they do make these upgrades available and it's actually quite easy to do and every time a new release comes out they post specific instructions on how you are to upgrade that is what we are looking at right now on the linux mint blog page i will link this in the description to the video if you want to take a look at it for yourself this has just come out in the last day or so the official release of linux mint 18.2 and so therefore you may end up in a situation where your local mirror that you happen to be hooked up to through software sources is not yet updated and if that's the case just wait a day or two and it will show up or you can switch mirrors to one that has it that's what i had to do this morning when i was too anxious to wait for it to show up in my regular mirror i wanted to go ahead and do this because i've been kind of waiting for this release to come along so they make it very straightforward here how to do it and uh, it is the instructions are quite simple and they're step by step and we will go through them in this video before we proceed any further i want to take a moment to say this if you are happy with linux mint 18 or 18.1 and you see no reason to change don't feel like you have to everything in the 18 series is going to be supported until 2021 so if you want to stay with Linux Mint 18 or 18.1, that's going to be perfectly fine. You are going to be supported. The dot releases offer new features and bug fixes. It is not tantamount that you absolutely upgrade. You won't be missing anything. But if you would like to see what the new features are, you would like to play around with the new X applications that come with Linux Mint these days, the X apps, then you can go ahead and do this. But do it at your own risk. These upgrades are very easy to do. Uh, they're generally trivial in nature. They do not change huge chunks of the system. There is usually not a problem with anything being broken or not working or that sort of thing. But any time that you make a major change to a functioning running operating system, there is always the chance for something to go wrong. So before you attempt to do this, you need to make sure that you have all of your data backed up and you are ready to face the consequences because once this is done it can't be undone the only way to get back to Linux Mint 18 or 18.1 after you've upgraded to 18.2 will be a complete reinstall so keep that in mind there are risks involved with that being said let's move on here okay so this is how this works you're going to install updates and then in the update manager, you're going to open the edit menu and you're going to see something show up like this. And then you will follow the bouncing ball and you will do your upgrade. So let's go ahead and do the update process and I will talk more about it as we roll along. We have Linux Mint 18 point run running in a virtual machine and we'll log in and we're going to go ahead and do updates and we're going to upgrade this particular box. Now, one of the reasons that you really might want to do this is because one of the major changes in Linux Mint 18.2 as compared to 18.1 and 18 is that the Mint Desktop Manager, the greeter window, the login, that has been dumped in favor of LightDM. And I think this is a good thing. The Mint Desktop Manager has always been a source of problems. There are known bugs in there. There's been issues with it for a long time. And so therefore, I'm glad to see that Linux Mint is moving away from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this. So we make sure that we get all the updates. And I'm going to show you exactly what uh, one update that you're really looking for to be on this list so that you can proceed and do this is. And it will take it just a couple of seconds to get itself together and refresh. It's all point and click. Now, Linux Mint has decided that they are not going to, in these dot .release upgrades, automatically upgrade the kernel, which is perfectly okay, fine with me. I got no problem with that. Uh, they are not automatically going to update from the Mint Display Manager to LightDM. That's something you're going to have to do manually once you get the updates installed, but it's actually really easy to do, and I'll show you how to do that. If you are going to move to 18.2, I strongly urge you to get rid of the Mint Display Manager and move to LightDM. 
So this is the upgrade that you're looking for. It says Mint Upgrade Info, and you're going to see that you're not going to see any other updates. Even though it was listing that the other updates were available on the list, when this one comes in, it's going to replace the update manager that we're looking at here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And this will bring in the information that tells the system what to do to do an upgrade. It's a very tiny package, so it shouldn't take long to install at all. And then you notice that it relaunches. Let's go ahead and full screen this, make it a little easier for everybody to see. Well, really, this box doesn't change size, but this looks a little neater this way. So now we have a long list of updates that need to be installed on this particular virtual machine. I haven't had it open, and that includes a kernel upgrade in here, all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these updates to make sure that our system is totally up to date. And then I am going to do the upgrade process. You want to make sure that your system is really as up to date as you can get it before you do this. It's just less of a chance of something being a conflict from an older version of a program or something like that. Now I'm not going to make you sit through this update. It'll take a few minutes. I'm going to actually pause the video and when we come back we'll be ready to start the upgrade. Update is complete and the computer has been rebooted. So we are now booted back into the desktop and it's saying that everything is up to date so we can go ahead and start the actual upgrade process. Before you do this, make sure that any important data is backed up. There's always the outside chance that something could go wrong and your machine could get borked up and then it doesn't work anymore. This is always a risk with any kind of in-place upgrade. Also, make sure that you have no other applications running. There's nothing open, just the desktop and the update manager tool. So we go to File, we go to Edit rather, and then we are going to open Upgrade. And we're going to see what happens. We get the introduction screen. Next. Now we're going to get a warning that tells us there is the possibility that this could mess up your system. So you might want to take the time to actually read the release notes to see whether there are any bugs in here that affect you. This is going to be probably your last chance to make the decision whether you want to stay with what you've got or upgrade. We're going to go forward because we're crazy like that. And once again, we get another warning. And then we get a final warning, and you actually have to check this box to make sure that you understand. Uh, they're just trying to be careful, folks. You don't want people just doing this willy-nilly, and then they mess up their machines, and they're off whining and crying because Linux Mint sent down, sent down an upgrade that would break it. It's always a risk. So we're just going to go forward and make it happen here. Now this process is going to take quite some time. I can tell you that it's going to download an initial set of packages and then it is going to download even more packages and I am once again going to pause the video until something pops up on the screen that we have to interact with. Uh, do that just to save time. The upgrade process has been going on for quite some time and this is the first string here, uh, first screen rather, where we have something to uh, interact with and that's just whether we want to keep or replace this file. I am going to opt to replace the file and we should be pretty close to the end of the process. Linux Mint warns that while this process is taking place that you shouldn't allow your screensaver to kick in if you have it configured to turn on because it may lock up the entire desktop. So there's one of two things you can do. You can turn your screensaver off or uh, you could just jiggle the mouse and watch it as it rolls along. The servers are running a little slow today. I guess a lot of people are actually doing this while I'm making this video. So it does take a little bit of time to get everything downloaded. So we are now done and we need to restart the computer to make this take effect. But before we restart, there is one thing that we are going to do without touching anything on the screen. We're going to go ahead and upgrade from the Mint Display or Mint Desktop Manager rather to the Light Desktop Manager and we will follow the instructions here on the page. This has to be done from a terminal but fortunately it's just a, a few little tiny commands and it's not that big a deal. So we're going to be doing this one 
and this right here. And it does matter the order in which you do this. So make sure that once you start this, that you're ready to finish it, I guess is the best way to put it. Do it in this order. Here we go. So let's jump back to our screen and we'll go ahead and open up a terminal. Notice I haven't closed anything. I'm not touching the desktop. At this point, the desktop is probably quite unstable. So if we can get a terminal open, we are good to go. So the command that we're going to run is sudo apt install slick greeter. I'll go ahead and autofill that. And then the next package that we're going to need is light dm settings. Autofill. Just these two packages. So let's go ahead and do that. Give it my password. And here we go. Yes, please go ahead and do it. And now we are presented with a screen where it's going to ask us what desktop manager we want to use or display manager rather. I know I call it a desktop manager. It says display manager. So let's go to light DM. We're going to choose this because we're going to get rid of MDM. There we go. Now that is gone. So the next thing that we have to do is remove MDM. So we will do sudo remove MDM. Just that simple. Uh, well, it would help if we put apt in front of that, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. All right, here we go. Yes, we want to remove this from the system. And the final command to enter at the terminal to take care of this process is sudo reboot. Now, when this happens, and this happened to me earlier, I've done this on two machines now, just for playing around, it actually locked up on the reboot because it got mad that there was no uh, display manager or desktop manager for it to work with. So therefore, if that happens to you, hold down the power button for five seconds and then reset the machine and you should be all right. So here we go. We are now on LightDM for our display manager. I have been calling it a desktop manager in error. Actually, it's kind of half dozen of both and six of the other. So let's do log in here. Thank you. I got it right this time. And now we are now logged into our new Linux Mint 18.2 installation. If when that boots up for the first time, you find that it's showing the stock Linux Mint wallpaper and not the wallpaper that you had chosen, what you can do is just go into desktop and choose wallpaper. So let's choose a background that's appropriate. Let's look at some of the new artwork for uh, 18.2 here. So just we'll change the desktop background and we'll get to it. And see right now it's on Serena. We can go down to Sonia, which is the new version. And this is the wallpaper. Not a huge fan of the wallpaper. A couple of them I kind of like. I like this one here where it's the pine trees. And then uh, the one that I'm actually running on mine right now is the street lights one because that's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like. And now when we log out, what it's going to do, it will follow along. This is something that LightDM does. So let's go ahead and just show you that functionality real quick. So I'm going to log out of my session. And now you can see it follows my wallpaper. And if I had more than one person uh, with an account on this particular machine, whatever wallpaper they would have set, it would come up that way. Uh, so if it doesn't automatically catch that setting like it did in our virtual machine here, then what am I keep typing wrong? Huh, there you go. That's what happens when I type and talk. Uh, anyway, if it doesn't catch that, it will sooner or later. Just change your wallpaper, update it. You can even pick the same one twice, and that will go ahead and set that setting. And here we are. We are on Linux Mint 18.2. One more note before I close the video. Linux Mint 18 and 18.1 shipped with the Linux Mint, or rather the Ubuntu 4.4 long-term support kernel. And 
if you install Linux Mint 18.2 from scratch, it's going to install kernel 4.8. If you are upgrading from 18 or 18.1 to 18.2, it will leave 4.4 in place. If all of the hardware on your computer works, then leave it alone. Let it go ahead and do that because there's no need to move away from the long-term support kernel to go to a hardware enablement kernel if you don't need it. If you don't need it, then don't worry about it. But if you do want to change it, you can go into the update manager and you can look at the kernel tool. So we'll show you that real quick. If you haven't seen my video that I did not too long ago, and yes, we wanted to update everything. Thank you very much. And then it's going to complain about mirrors, but we're good. Our mirrors are good. It just wants you to double check everything now that you've reinstalled the system. You see, we've got some major new things here. Wow, that's a big change. So we go to view, go to Linux kernels. Yes, I understand. So it's telling us that we're on the 4.4 series now, which is where we want to be. They have the 4.8 series, which the beta shipped with. 4.8 series, and now we have the 4.10 series. So if you are installing from scratch, you can move back to the LTS kernel, or you can move ahead or stay with what you've got. Whatever they happen to be running, you're good to go. So that's it, gang. Thank you for watching the video. We have successfully moved from Linux Mint 18.1 to 18.2. Have fun with your Linux. Be sure and check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook. Take a look at FreedomPenguin.com for lots of cool stories about Linux. We'll do it again soon.